Hello everybody and welcome to the class. Well, in our previous classes we have been doing adjectives so far. So, we have done I adjectives and na adjectives, how to use adjectives with nouns, some new vocabulary, a lot of new kanji characters. So, today also we will continue with adjectives and we will learn some new characters, stroke order of those characters, lot of vocabulary and how to say what we have done earlier in different ways. So, well we will begin now, but before that as I always do we will go over the assignments and see what you have done. So, well I will read it out one by one and you can check your assignments. So, the first assignment is match group A with group B. These are na adjectives given over here and the meanings in the right column, column B. So, you can see kire, beautiful, rippa, grand, genki, in good health, shizuka, quiet, kantan, easy, hima, free time, yume, famous and shinsetsu, kind. So, well these were all na adjectives. Now, you have to write in hiragana, well some of them are na adjectives and some of them are I adjectives. Now, you see hiragana is very important because you have to learn to write in the script as well as we are doing kanji. So, you also have to do hiragana. So, please practice hiragana also. Now, you have it all written over here shizuka, kantan, urusai, sumetai, muzukashi, murasaki, yume, atatakai. So, well you can do it, practice it at home. Then the third assignment is fill in the blanks with appropriate particles. We have done a lot of particles, particle wa, ka, mo, ne, yo, de, ni, o, lot of these particles. So, you need to fill all the particles over here properly, the ones which fit only rao san wa chika tetsu de kaisha e ikimasu. Watashi wa mainichi asa roku ji ni okimasu, ni is for time. Mainichi kaisha no shokudo de hiru gohan o tabemasu, place de activity o Shimas. Rao san no uchi wa eki no soba ni arimas. So, you have locational nouns over here, ni arimas is for location and existence. Shumatsu ni ega o mimasho. Shumatsu again for time, ni. Tanaka san wa mai asa uchi de shimbun o yomimasu. Again place de activity o shimasu. Nanji ni kaisha o demasu ka. Nanji ni for time ni again. Then doko de nihongo o benkyo shimashita ka. Where for place again de again activity over here. Then kokugo de ringo wa nan desu ka. De we did last time. What do you call a certain thing in Japanese? So, well kokugo, kokugo is your national language, kokugo de ringo wa nan desu ka. So, this is what you were supposed to do. I hope 
all of you got it right. Now, over here you have kanjis which you need to practice. So, the sentences are nan dash goro hiru gohan o tabemasu ka. So, well the kanjis will come and they are all in green. So, it will be easy for you to understand you can see and check your kanji characters. Oki, sai, Kesa, Mainichi, Chisai, Nihonjin, Akai, and Denba. So, these are the kanji characters, you can check them. Now, there was a small conversation for you in the previous uh, lesson. This is the conversation. You can now read the conversation and then try to see if these questions you have answered properly. As they are not very difficult, I do not think we need to go over them. You can just do it on your own as you have the conversation right in front of you. Well, the last assignment I think is tick the correct adjectives in the brackets. So, well, they are in purple over here. Asoko no kissa ten no kohi wa oishi desu. Rao san no uchi wa eki kara chikai desu. Watashi no gakko no soba ni kirei na kouen ga arimasu. Kino omoshiroi shousetsu o yomimashita. Ano kata wa yumei na sakka desu. Tanaka san wa shinsetsu desu. And if there was a noun over here, then na would have been used. Well, now in our previous lessons, we have done this exercise where you can ask, you ask someone as to how long it takes from one place to another. So, we did nanji kan kakarimasu ka. Now, over here we want to do something else. If you say nanji kan, then it is exact time. How long does it take? But if say it takes a little more than what you are saying approximately, if you want to ask, then what is the way to ask? Well, practice by telling and asking approximately how long it takes from Kanpur to Lucknow by the mode of transport you can see in the picture. There is a picture over here for you. You can see the picture and tell how long it takes by this mode of transport. So, there is a densha over here. Let us see what the question is. Kanpur kara Lucknow made densha de dore gurai kakarimasu ka. Approximately how long does it take. So, let us see. Nijikan gurai kakarimasu. So, gurai means approximately. If you say nijikan kakarimasu, then it is exact time. But if you say nijikan gurai kakarimasu, then it takes approximately 2 hours. It could be 10 minutes less or 10 minutes more. Now, let us see the second picture. Bus. So, what is the question? Kanpur kara Lucknow made bus de dore gurai kakarimasu ka? So, well, sanjikan gurai kakarimasu. And then we have another picture for you, which is of a cycle, jitensha. So, then kanpur kara Lucknow made jitensha de dore gurai kakarimasu ka? And let us see how many hours it says, rokujikan gurai kakarimasu. You could also say rokujikan 
kakarimasu. So, that means it is exact rokuji kan, not more, not less, but you never know how long it will take by any of these transports, any of these things. So, well, you can use gurai over here. Now, kurai and gurai both are same. Koko kara eki made dono gurai kakarimasu ka? Place 1 kara, place 2 made. How much time does it take? Approximately how long does it take? So, if, if it is kuruma, which is car, if it is bus, if it is densha, if it is hikoki, how long will it take? Over here, there is a small conversation where A and B are there and A is asking, koko kara eki made. Dono gurai kakarimasu ka? Kuruma de yonjuppun kakarimasu. So, by kuruma it is going to take 40 minutes. Now, you can also ask uchi kara gakko made takushi de dore gurai kakarimasu ka? Or kaisha kara eki made dono gurai kakarimasu ka? So, whatever you want to say, whatever time you want to give, you can give. It can be ichijikan gurai kakarimasu, it can be sanjuppun gurai kakarimasu or whatever time you want. Now, so far we have used mode of transport. You could also ask about how much a ticket will cost, how much you have to pay for a ticket, how much it will cost. So, uchi kara, uchi kara eki made, takushi de dono gurai kakarimasu ka? Meaning, from here, from my house till the station, what is the fare? How much will it take? For example, over here it is given, takushi de hyaku goju en kakarimasu or as we are here in India, takushi de hyaku goju rupee kakarimasu. Then over here, there is this densha which you can see and we have this question, Kanpur kara Lucknow made densha de dore gurai kakarimasu ka? Means, how much money does it cost from Kanpur to Lucknow? So, what is the fare from Kanpur to Lucknow by train? So, both things you can ask and inquire. Well, over here it is Nihyaku rupee this. It is 200 rupees as we are in India over here. You can practice over here now. Practice by telling and asking how much it costs to go from Kanpur to Lucknow by the mode of transport you can see in the picture. So, let us see whether you can answer these questions correctly or not. Now, what is that? That is a densha. The question is Kanpur kara Lucknow made densha de tore gurai kakarimasu ka? Question is the same. You have to give the answer. So, well, let us see. Yes, what do you think it is? So, whatever you feel you can put over here and say hyaku rupee des, goju rupee des, go hyaku rupee des, whatever you feel or whatever the fare is, you can write. Now, bus. Over here we are only taking Kanpur and Lucknow, but you can use any place, any name over here of a place and go from that place to another place and ask the fare. So, well again, we have the same question by bus Kanpur kara Lucknow made bus de dore gurai kakarimasu ka? Well, you can again give a number and so many rupees. Okay? So, it could be again 100 rupees or 50 rupees, whatever you want to put over here. And a similar manner, you have taxi over here and again the same thing, only the mode of transport changes and it becomes taxi over here and the fare is 
if you know the fare, well you can put it. So, I hope you will practice this at home with your partner and practice it out loudly please. Now, I have been telling you about Gurai a lot. You have done, if you remember, Kore, Sore, Are and Dore in the beginning. Kore, Sore, Are and Dore. These are demonstrative pronouns. So, well over here, you know Dore is choice between two things or maximum three things. So, when you add Dore to Gurai, then what happens? It shows quantity. When you say Dore Gurai, then it means quantity of things. For example, over here you have it written Dore Gurai Arimasu ka approximately how much it is? Dore Gurai Kaimasu ka approximately how much will you buy? Now, when you just say dore o kaimasu ka, then naturally what are you doing? You are asking choice, you are asking preference. For example, you have these three chalks over here in my hand, you can see. So, I can ask you dore wa shiroi desu ka? which one is white and you can point and tell me sore wa shiroi desu. So, with dore you are generally asking choice of choice between two or three things. Dore gurai tabemasu ka? How much will you have or eat? So, this is how you can practice dore and dore gurai and see the difference as well. Now, we have also done demo in our previous lesson. If you remember, we have done demo. Demo means, but and what does it do? What does demo do? Well, demo shows contrast between two things, but please remember as I told you last time as well, it is between two similar things. For example, as given over here, watashi wa niku wo tabemasu, demo shats wo kaimasen. If you say that, then it is wrong, because you are not talking about the same thing at all. So, you have to talk about similar things. Over here as is given, watashi wa niku wo tabemasu. Demo yasai wo tabe masen. Watashi mo yasai wo tabe masen. So, it is a simple conversation between two people. Now, if you want to say that I eat niku also and I eat yasai also, which is vegetables. So, how will you say that? You cannot use demo because demo is contrast you are showing some kind of contrast. So, how will you use? Well, the answer is given right here. Watashi wa yasai mo niku mo tabemasu. Mo niku mo tabemasu. So, I eat vegetables and I also eat meat. Two, two particle mo used like this with a positive verb in positive form means I eat both. Noun 1 mo, noun 2 mo positive verb. You can also use it in the negative, where it will mean neither. Noun 1 mo, noun 2 mo, negative, verb in negative form. 
The examples are given here. You can practice this. Watashi wa yasai mo niku mo tabemasu. Watashi wa yasai mo niku mo tabemasen. Now, for watashi wa, you can change any other vocabulary that you have done. You can see over here, you can do oto san, oka san, tomo dachi. And you can also change this over here, yasai can also be changed, niku can also be changed, noun 1, noun 2, both can be changed. And with that, you can also change the verb over here as is given. Oto san wa biru mo wine mo nomimasu or nomimasen. Tomodachi wa tamago mo niku mo tabemasen or tabemasu. Kodomo wa juice mo milku mo nomimasen or nomimas, whichever you want to choose. But you will see that these two things belong to the same category. These also belong to the same category and these also belong to the same group. You can see a construction where the repeated use of particle mo shows similar nouns or elements of one group in parallel construction, which is similar in meaning to as well as or both in positive and neither or nor in negative statements in English. So, a mo, b mo means exactly this, both or neither. You have more examples over here, noun 1 mo, noun 2 mo, oishi desu with adjectives. Noun 1 mo, noun 2 mo, oishi ku nai desu. Both are not tasty. And in a similar manner, you have it over here also, amit mo, arun mo, gakusei desu. Amit mo, arun mo, gakusei de wa arimasen. So, it is a nice uh, construction. You can use it in conversation. Now, we have practice over here for you. There are some pictures. Look at the pictures and see what it has to say. Nekutai mo boshi mo kaimasu or kaimasen. Nekutai mo boshi mo kaimasen. In a similar manner, you have fruits over here. Budo mo ichigo mo tabemasu or tabemasen. And what do we have here? Juice mo milku mo. Nomimasu or nomimasen. So, you can practice like this. Ask and answer with your partner. Now, you also did watashi wa tomodachi to issho ni gakko e ikimasu. You did A wa B to issho ni place e ikimasu. Now, we just now did a mo, B mo, place A ikimasu. A to B wa place A iki. You can also put ishoni over here. So, A wa B to ishoni means A went together with B. B to ishoni with B. A mo 
B mo plus A ikimas means A and B A also B also. In fact, also B also. Both went to a certain place. Then A to B wa. A and B went to a certain place. So, this is a slight difference over here which is given in the example. A wa B to issho ni ikimasu. Watashi wa tomodachi to issho ni gakko e ikimasu. I go with my tomodachi with my friend to school. A to B wa issho ni ikimasu. A and B go together to school. So, you have this combination, these words over here in this one and this one. Sensei, Gakusei, Michiko, Okasan, Imoto, Musume and you have Tenrankai, Daigaku, Depato, Toshokan, Ryoko. So, well, you can use A wa B to issho ni ikimasu, A to B wa issho ni ikimasu, A mo B mo issho ni ikimasu. Any of these with the vocabulary given here in pink block and vocabulary here in the purple block. One example I will make. Sensei wa gakusei to issho ni daigaku e ikimasu or Michiko san wa okasan to issho ni tenrankai e ikimasu. Sensei to gakusei wa ryoko e ikimasu. Sensei to gakusei wa toshokan e ikimasu. So, you can try this combination and practice. Now, there is a short radio dialogue. Listen to it and let us see how much you understand. Rao san, ashita picnic e ikimashou ka? Ii desu ne. Doko e ikimasu ka? Hirokute kirei na tokoro e ikimashou. Sou desu ne. Neru koen wa dou desu ka? Sono koen wa hiroi desu ga shizuka dewa arimasen. Ah, sou desu ka. Ja, central park wa daijoubu desu ka? Ah, Central Park wa ii desu ne. Shizuka de kirei na basho desu. Doko de aimashou ka? Eki no iri guchi no mae wa dou desu ka? Wakarimashita. Sore de wa ashita hachiji ni aimashou ka? Hai. Well, I'll read it out to you now and then explain what is new. Mira-san and Rao-san. Rao-san. Ashita picnic e ikimashou ka? Ii desu ne. Doko e ikimasu ka? Hirokute kirei na tokoro e ikimashou. Sou desu ne. Neheru koen wa dou desu ka? Sono koen wa hiroi desu ga shizuka dewa arimasen. Ah, sou desu ka? Ja Central Park wa daijoubu desu ka? Ah, Central Park wa ii desu ne. Shizuka de Kirei na basho desu. Doko de aimashou ka? Eki no iriguchi no mae wa dou desu ka? Wakarimashita. Sore de wa ashita hachiji ni aimashou ka? Hai. So well, there are a lot of new things over here. We will cover these. I am sure most of it you have understood. And whatever is left, I will do it in the lesson. Now, you have the dialogue in the script and you can see a few new kanji characters here. Look them up in the dictionary and get the meanings from there. So, this is the explanation in English and we come to what we have to do actually, what is given in the lesson over there. So, over here, we will join 
adjectives. Now, you have done noun plus noun, noun to noun, ta ma go to pan o tabe mas. You have done this one earlier in one of the previous lessons. Well, today we will do I adjectives as we are doing adjectives plus I adjectives. How will you join I adjectives? Well, ringo wa amai desu. Ringo wa oi shi desu. So, how will you join these two? These are two sentences. How will you join these two? Ringo wa amai, I cut off this over here. Again, if you use ringo, it is not required. Amai oishi desu. Now, we need to join these two. What we do is, we remove this first, uh, we remove this i from here from the first i adjective and put kute and it becomes ringo wa ama kute oi shi desu. So, well when you have to join i adjective with another i adjective, then what you do is you remove the first, you remove the i of the first adjective amai akai, takai and nagai. So, you remove this from here and put kute. So, I hope this is understood. Very, very simple. We will practice and then you will know how it is done. Joining I adjectives with I adjectives. Tokyo wa hiroi desu. Tokyo wa oki desu. Tokyo wa hirokute oki desu. In a similar manner, now you can replace Tokyo with other nouns. Ringo, kuruma, boshi, hon, ega. Ringo wa amakute oishi desu. Kuruma wa chisakute ii desu. Boshi wa yasukute benri desu. Hon wa yasukute omoshiroi desu. Ega wa nagakute sumaranai desu. Sumaranai is very, very boring. Now, when you have to join I adjectives with na adjectives, well, you need to follow this pattern only because finally what happens is you have to change the first adjective only. The i of the first adjective will go in case of i adjectives. What happens to the na adjectives? We will do a little later. So, in a similar manner you can practice over here. Ringo wa amakute hoya hoya desu. Hoya hoya is fresh, freshly picked, very, very fresh and tasty. Kuruma, chisakute, benri desu. Boshi, yasukute, steki desu. Hon, yasukute, omoshiroi desu. Eiga, nagakute, tsumaranai desu. Now, you have to join two na adjectives. Obviously, as it is na adjectives, it will be a little different from I adjectives. So, what do we do? Well, na plus na.
マリコさんは綺麗です。マリコさんは丁寧です。So you have to join these two as we did with I attendance. Well, Mariko san wa kirei de tene des. So, with I adjectives, you add kute after the I, and then with na adjectives, you add de between two na adjectives to mean. And so, Mariko san wa shinsetsu desu. Mariko san wa shinsetsu de kirei desu. Now, again, you can replace Mariko san with any of the vocabulary you have done or is listed over here. Oto san, genki de shinsetsu desu. Kanai, tene de shizuka desu. 友達、立派で、丁寧です。田中さん、有名で、静かです。東京、きれいで、にぎやかです。Any of this you can use and practice. Now, as we are doing na adjectives, well, 元気です、きれいです。Can also be done as Mariko san wa genki de te ne na kata. This kata is a noun, so well, adjective na and noun over here. So, kata means hito, polite for hito is kata, so you can. Use kata also and practice like this. Oto san wa genki de rippa na hito desu. Kanai wa shizuka de tenei na hito desu. Tomodachi wa rippa de shinsetsu na kata desu. Now, kata you will not use for people of your own family or for yourself, you will use for outsiders. It could be tomodachi, it could be sensei, it could be Someone else, Michiko san, Mariko san, anybody, but not for Oto san, Oka san, and your own family member. Now you can practice this over here. Look at the pictures and let us see what it is. You can use and for I adjectives and na adjectives as we did. Just now, genki de ureshi desu. Hayakute benri desu. Genki de ureshi desu. Mondai wa kantan de omoshiroi desu. 元気で、綺麗な女の人です。And, 広くて、静かなところです。Any of these you can use, and over here you will see, na adjective plus I adjective. So, as we did in I adjective, the first adjective, which happens to be a na over here, will take the And whatever adjective follows after that remains in its original form. It does not change form. So, well, you can practice like this now. So, now you have this vocabulary from the lesson. Well, iriguchi, the meanings are given here in black. Iriguchi. Deguchi, kantan, mondai, 
ほやほやそれでは公園娘息子図書館 So this is some new vocabulary for you. So this is some new vocabulary for you. Now, as we always do, well, we'll do some kanji characters. These are simple kanji characters. You have done me, te, ashi, mimi, kuchi. Now, we will do hana, which is nose. It looks very difficult, but it's a very, very simple character. You have done most of it, most of these characters, it's a combination. So, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So, it's a fourteen stroke character. You can see this part you have done, actually, this part you have done, then this part you have done. And this is new. So, this is Hana for you. Once again, Hana. It is a 14 stroke character. Please remember Hana. Now, we have another one over here. Looks like Hito, but it is different. The stroke order is different. For Hito, the stroke order is one and then two, like this. One and two over here. The stroke order over here is different. It is one like this and two over here. One and two. This means to pour or to enter. Ireru or hairu. It's a two-stroke character, like hito, but order is different. So, please remember the order for Hairu is this 1 and 2. Now, there is another character which I am sure is quite similar, which you feel is quite similar. You have done this character. Well, what does this mean? This is Yama meaning mountain. Now, how do we make the character that is there on your slide? Well, 1 and over here. This means to go out. Deru is this character. I will make it once again. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, it is a 5 stroke character means they must to go out or exit. Deru. Now, you can look at the stroke order here, practice your stroke order. This is how it has come into being. It joins over here, the branch joins over here. That is how it is, ireru or hairu. 1 and then 2 like this. Now, we have this one which means Deru and how has it come into being? Well, a flower comes out of the ground and goes up. There are two shoots over here and a flower on top. So, well, that is how Deru has come into being to come out like this as you can see over here and very, very nicely it is shown and you can visualize it. So, there are five strokes to this character. One. 2, 3 and again 4 and then 5. This is Deru. Quite similar to Yama, but not Yama. Two Yamas will make Deru. Now, some words with Kanji characters, with the Kanji characters that we have done. Iriguchi. New koku, 
you knew deguchi shuppatsu jibika so please there is a reason for giving these characters to you there is a reason why i read it out so that you can get the pronunciation one and second you also see that how these kanji characters are used and you can also make sentences which will help in conversation so please try to go through these read these try to write them practice them at home then of course we have been doing hiragana in our previous lessons so well we'll continue with that and let us see what we have ha again this is also very important because the stroke order is there and sometimes what happens is you learn the wrong stroke order which has happened with me for a lot of kanjis i don't want any of you to learn it in the wrong way please try to get the order right ha he who he ho now you have it right in front of you all the characters are given over here all the syllables are there of the ha series and you have the stroke order so you can write it down like this in a block it should be proportionate from today we are also starting i am also starting proverbs with you proverbs are important we'll do proverbs from today they are called kotowaza in japanese and they are important and interesting you try to use a proverb in your speech and immediately it sounds very good and impressive so well we have one over here you can relate to it in english very easily but i'm sure when you look at this picture of this usagi san running like this and looking at his watch with a bag well what comes to your mind it is time is money and what do you say nihongo de nan to imasu ka well time is money is toki wa kane nari in japanese it's given over here toki wa kane nari time is money toki is time you have done wa is hiragana kane also you have done o kane nari is it is very very important so please do not waste time well toki wa kane nari try to remember this phrase and we'll try to use it sometime in class now begins your time you have to do all the assignments now my work is over you have to do these assignments at home well the first one is match group a with group b and again you have these words over here so that you can learn all the vocabulary and you don't fumble with words then also hiragana very very simple you just need to write your hiragana on these dotted lines these are again words just put for you for practice assignment 3 of course is important because you have to choose from the brackets interrogative or question words so choose the correct word and mark it tick it and of course as we always do there is kanji practice for you tick the correct kanji character circle it and we will do it in our next class and see whether what you have done is right or not and then something very important that you have to do you have to learn your kanji characters you have to learn to write them as well so the words are given over here write your kanji characters on the dotted lines well the last one is 
make proper questions to fit the answers given below. Read the question, read the answer and then try to make the question. We will see in our next lesson how you did over here. Now, you have to listen to this dialogue and then answer the questions. Rao san, ashita picnic e ikimashou ka? Ii desu ne. Doko e ikimasu ka? Hirokute kirei na tokoro e ikimashou. Sou desu ne. Nehru koen wa dou desu ka? Sono koen wa hiroi desu ga shizuka dewa arimasen. Ah, sou desu ka. Ja, Central Park wa daijoubu desu ka? Ah, Central Park wa ii desu ne. Shizuka de kirei na basho desu. どこで会いましょうか駅の入り口の前はどうですかわかりました。それでは明日8時に会いましょうかはい。Well, you just listen to the audio. Now some questions are there for you. Try to do these questions. I'll read them out to you once. A. ラオさんは誰と一緒にピクニックへ行きましたか ?B. 二人はどこへ行きましたか ?C. セントラルパークはどんな場所ですか ?D. 二人はどこで会いますか ?E. 何時の約束をしましたか ?F2 人は何で行きますか ?I'm sure there'll be a few new words for you. I'm not giving you the meaning. I want you to look up the dictionary and get used to looking up a Japanese dictionary also. So please, words you do not understand, quickly open your dictionaries, try to look up the Word and get the meaning. The questions are not difficult. We'll try to do them next time in case you are unable to do all of them. It's all in the conversation. So, I hope you enjoy doing your uh, assignments and you enjoyed the lesson. You learnt a few new things. With that, I will leave you and you can practice at home. また会いましょう。Thank you.